He was a, a loving young man. He would give you anything. He would uh, bend over backwards to help uh, individuals. Desperate for answers of family from the Motor City in the Summit City tonight, hoping you can help track down the person suspected of killing their son. Good evening. I'm Brett Thomas. And I'm Heather Heron. The shooting happened in Detroit last October, but police say tips from social media led them to Fort Wayne. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson joins us now. Last week, police released a picture of the suspect. Today, we're getting a look at surveillance video captured moments before the shooting. Police believe the man seen in the video is in Fort Wayne, and they say he's armed and dangerous. This surveillance video was captured moments before a 29-year-old man was gunned down at a home in Detroit. The man seen in the video is who police say pulled the trigger. He's still sitting out there, and it could happen to someone here, and I do not want to see that happen. They don't know the suspect's name, but they do know he lives in Fort Wayne, and Detroit police say he's armed and dangerous. Uh, it wasn't just a single shot, it was multiple shots that uh, ended Aaron's life. According to lead detective James Kraszewski, a group of men went to that home to buy marijuana. The victim, Aaron Beasley, is licensed to sell pot in the state of Michigan. During the exchange, the suspect pulled out a handgun, fatally shooting Beasley. If he would drive three hours to come to Detroit to take a person's life for some material to drive back, Ain't no telling what this guy would do. Keith Beasley says his son was an entrepreneur, a popular DJ, and a mentor. They talked hours before the shooting, not knowing that phone conversation would be their last. Now the Beasley family is pleading for information. I've been watching Crime Stoppers for years. I never thought I'd be sitting at this table making this kind of statement. In December, two other men were arrested in Fort Wayne in connection with this crime. 18-year-old Quantry Brown is charged with murder and armed robbery. Police believe 20-year-old Lamont Carpenter drove to Michigan, but charges against him were dropped. Now they're relying on the public's help to capture the third suspect. We've had the photo. We were hoping to get the identification in different routes. Um, but now we're at a point where we're, we're, we're asking for your help. Crime Stoppers is offering a $2,500 reward for anyone who can help find the suspect. In Studio 15, Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.